Okay, okay. Hey guys, so this week we are going to be making a super simple house. Um, not like a house that you live in, but like a house that looks kind of like more like a monopoly piece. So really simple, um, more like an outline of a house. Okay, so first thing you want to do is just open up a new scene. I've got one here and then you're going to be making a cube. I'm pretty sure I made my cube uh, four by five by four. And then I made the divisions the same. Yep. All right. And then you can go ahead and move it to the ground by doing Y to two and a half since our height was five. And then um, the first thing we're going to be doing is just making our roof. So you can just go into front mode, go into vertex mode, and then take these top vertices, click R, and then hold control and scale up like that. Next, I'm gonna go to the multi-cut tool and add in a multi-cut going vertically like that, about right there. And then click W, go into vertex mode and select that the, the ring that you just made and then scale it in to be with the bottom vertices. All right, next you can take this top one, drag it up a little bit, click R to scale it in. And that'll basically be kind of the simple shape of the house. Go back into the multi-cut tool and make a multi-cut um, about right here. Click W and then scale this guy to be uh, with the bottom one so that it's a straight edge right there. Good, okay, and then I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and lower these two vertice rows down a little bit. That looks good. All right, let's go into front mode to see how it's looking. All right, looks, looks pretty good. I think it's a little too wide, so I'm just gonna select those guys and then scale it all in maybe to like there yeah all right that's looking pretty good to me next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and circularize these guys on top so go into face mode click q hold down and then actually let's only select these middle four we don't need a big um chimney so select those four faces go to um mesh and then circularize it Go to Edit Mesh, Circularize. And my twist always does something weird, so just kind of play with the numbers. Maybe mine's 45, it usually is, something like that. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so change your twist so that it matches up. And then next thing um, you can do is extrude it, and then change the thickness to however tall you want that little point to be. So I'll do mine like that, that looks pretty good. Maybe a little taller, yeah. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is hollow it out because Monopoly houses are technically hollow. So go into face mode, click Q, hold tab, and then you're going to be selecting all of these guys on the bottom. Go ahead and delete them. Go into object mode and extrude. And then I think I'm gonna change my thickness out to about, let's see, maybe like 0.15. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so next thing we're gonna just do, I think I wanna add um, a couple multi-cuts in the roof to kind of give it a little bit more of a smoothness to it, um, but totally up to you. Um, okay, so I just added three like that, and then I'm gonna go into front mode, and I'm gonna move, I'm gonna scale some of them, be in vertex mode. I feel like my roof comes in too quickly, so I'm just gonna scale these guys, kinda. Maybe move them down a little bit. Oh, you don't do that. All right. 
I like how that looks. All right, so next thing you're really just gonna do is um, bevel every edge. So that's simple. Um, just select the edges you need to bevel. These are uh, some of the edges you need to bevel for sure. Control B is bevel. Give them two segments at whatever fraction you feel looks the best. Um, just press three and kind of see how your mesh is gonna turn out. And then, um, yeah. So you can decide to have a round roof like this, or you can decide to have kind of more of a square roof. That just means that you have to bevel these uh, edges to be more of a square. So I'll go ahead and do that for you guys now. Let's see, yeah. So I like how that looks, but it's totally up to you how you wanna do it. Um, don't forget to bevel these edges down here. These are really important. Do two segments. 0.5 is usually good, but it's up to you. I think what I'm just going to do instead is just bevel the top edge and not the um, bottom edge where it connects. Because that part looks fine. It's just when it bevels, it gets a little wonky. So, um, yeah, let's see how that looks. I don't really want a circle on top. I want like more of a, yeah, more of a button. All right, go into object mode. Now it looks much better. All right, so um, if that's all you want for your house, then you're done. That's basically it. Um, I also want to bevel this edge on the inside, this guy. Um, but I kind of like to go through and add some other things like a door and a window. Um, so if you want to do that, um, you can keep watching this video. If not, um, that, that's your house. So. I'm going to use those as windows and then we'll do like these guys as doors, okay? Here, we can make it even bigger. Go ahead and just extrude those faces. And then change your thickness to like 0.1 so go in a little bit. And then um Go ahead and select these faces. Extrude, change your thickness to like negative 0.1. And then go into edge mode and select those edges because we have to bevel them now. You can select them all in just one go. Make sure you get the right one on that one. There's two. Let's check if I got the other one. Okay, good. All right, control B is beveling, two segments. Go ahead and press three. It still rounds out a bit. Yeah, actually, I like how that's looking. All right, so don't worry about um, beveling the insides or anything unless you really want to. Um, especially if you plan on this being like an actual house. I just plan on this being like a simple little game piece. So um, it's totally up to you and what you kind of think your object's going to be. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. So if you guys like this video, leave me a comment below. All that fun jazz, and I'll see you guys next time for whatever we are creating next. Uh, yeah, bye guys.